Do you understand what it means just to be alive and to make every day count? To make every opportunity that you have been given count. Life is short. And as I always tell you, you don't have much time. So that means you got to make every possibility, every breath that you take count. You got to just keep living your life. There are going to be times that you're going to just struggle and you're going to be tired and you're going to be weary and you're going to want to quit and you ain't going to have nothing left. But you still got to carry on. Live your life, ladies and gentlemen. Be excited about life. Regardless of the struggles, regardless of the circumstances, get excited about being above ground and not under it. Walk with your head up high and live your life and trust in everything that you do. If you're concerning yourself about mistakes, if you're concerning yourself about the past, leave the past alone. It ain't got nothing to do with you anymore. Your time is the now time. Being able to move forward and make the most of this beautiful thing that we call life. Some people just don't get that. Some people don't want it. They got excuse after excuse. They feeling sorry. Seems like every time you turn on the television, Every time you look at social media, there's something negative going on. It almost seems like people feed more off of drama than life itself. Excitement, opportunity, goodness, the goodness in people, and you yourself. Why do you hold on to things that you cannot do anything about? If it's not meant to be fixed, leave it alone and start doing the best that you can to be the best makeup of who you are as a person. It's time for you to start moving on with your life. Today is today, but tomorrow is a new day. And we don't know exactly what tomorrow is going to bring. But let's just hope that we are all in it together. Making the possibilities a reality, people. Look around you today. Look at what's going on in our world. Look at what the society that we're living in. Look at what we have become as a people. We're stressed out. We're worried. We have no sense of opportunity or light around us because we're too focusing on the things that we can't do anything about. But what can we do about ourselves? What can we change within us? We're being distracted. We're being misled. We are afraid. We're letting things control us instead of us taking control of our own lives and being strong each and every day of our lives. I made it this far for a reason. You made it this far for a reason. Now it's up to you to make a difference. Now it's up to you to keep moving on. Stop putting yourself in a box. Stop stressing so much. Stop worrying so much. And take the life that is in your hands and make it count. Ladies and gentlemen, I promise you, if you do not hold on to the goodness within you, then all the bad things that are surrounding you right now would ultimately destroy your possibilities and taking yourself further in your life. Make this day count. Don't worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about yesterday. Make this day count. Put all your energy into what you do today. Put all your power into what you do today. Keep it moving, be productive, be powerful, and from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business. I hurt every day of my life. 
but I learned through the pain. My mother and father are gone. I don't have parents anymore. When I lost my mother 10 years ago, I didn't think that this woman would just leave so soon, but she's gone now. It hurts to even speak on the transition and how she went through and the things that she had to endure, but she's no longer suffering. But I also remember the words that she instilled in me and the things that she would tell me as a, as a young man. And she would say to me, son, no matter how hard things get in life, don't let the pain turn you away from your truth. Learn from your pain. Learn from all of the struggles that you will face in life and continue to make a difference in this world. And now that I'm at the age that I am today, I do that every day of my life. And recently losing my father, it became even more of a struggle. And to this day, I still grieve. I still mourn them. But every loss, that has happened, it has given me power. It has given me strength. It has resonated through my veins to turn my pain into my passion. Now the thing you have to consider is that pain is good for you. Pain is gonna do so much to you. Pain is gonna do things that you can never understand. Sooner or later, you have to realize that through the pain, there will come a victory. Now, you're probably saying, Coach, why are you talking about all of this sorrow, all of these things that you dealt with in your life? But ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking to you as though you're here in this place with me right now. I'm opening up to you right now. This is not something that is scripted. In fact, I don't even do scripted speeches or anything like that. I am opening up to you to let you know that no matter what struggles that you have been through in your life, no matter how much pain that you've experienced in your life, you have to turn it to something greater than your pain. I hurt every day of my life, but I learned through the pain. I struggle some days of my life, but I learned through the pain. Sometimes I want to quit and give up, but I realize it's not my time. In fact, I'm never here to give up. I'm here to go up. I'm here to soar beyond the clouds. I've been homeless. I wanted to give my life up. I have had everything thrown at me. I have been rejected, but I rose above it because I know who I am inside. The question is, do you know who you are inside? Your circumstances, your challenges, your losses, everything that you have endured in your life, if you're standing on your two feet right now, if you got breath in your body, you are not done. You have power right now. You have strength right now. Don't let nothing hold you back. I'm here to give you the message of hope and understanding that no matter what struggle that you are going through, no matter what pain you are going through, let your pain be your passion. Let it flow through your veins. Don't quit on your destiny. Don't give up because you had significant losses. Don't feel that because you were rejected in your life 
that you cannot carry on. Now I speak about my parents because they were amazing people in my life. And now it's up to me to carry the torch. So when you lose someone close to you, someone close to your heart, don't ever give up on who you are inside because they will want you to continue to live on. They will want you to live on because that is exactly what they instilled in you. So today, I will continue to represent my mother and father because that was my greatest loss. My greatest loss was losing the people that gave me life. The people that taught me right from wrong. The people that told me, no matter what you do in life, son, don't give up. Don't give up. Fight through the pain. Fight through the pain. If you lose, find a way to win again. If you're hurting this side, turn it around and make it something greater. Ignite the fire in your soul. It's okay to be human. My emotions and my sorrows, I know how to control them. I understand how to use them. I understand that through every loss, I turned it around and I made it something greater. I made it more stronger. I built something. I truly am building an empire of passion, strength, wisdom, and a victory. It's just waiting for me. Am I done? Absolutely not. Am I stronger? Every day of my life, every breath that I take, I get stronger. You can be stronger. So yes, my pain became my passion. It has taught me to teach others to carry on, to never give up, to keep reaching. And no matter the losses, no matter the circumstances, you don't give up on your life. You keep living, you keep fighting. Because even through the losses, there are always great victories. No matter your losses, no matter your rejections, no matter your failures, keep living. No matter what you have going on in your life right at this moment, keep living because through the pain, you can bring forth your passion. Let it resonate through your soul, through your veins and your mind and press on. So today and for the rest of my life, my pain will always be my passion. I know that I have life yet to live. For my mother and father, I will live. For my wife and children, I will live. For those that trust and believe in me, I will live. For this is all I can do. And there is no turning back. So ladies and gentlemen, I say to you all, continue to live your life. Let your pain be your passion. And even if you're hurting inside, turn it around, make it burn through your veins, let it burn through your heart and soul, and let it resonate and be powerful than you've ever been in your life. My pain will continue to flow, but I understand that through my pain, my passion will continue to manifest itself into greater ideas. 
So ladies and gentlemen, you continue to be strong. You stay encouraged. You don't look back. You continue to look forward. You keep your head up high. You keep rising above the clouds. Keep it moving. Be productive. Be powerful. And from the bottom of my heart, I'm telling you right now to conduct your business. I can't. I cannot. I can't. I'll try. I'll try. I tried. How does that sound? Listen to that. I can't. I tried. I'll try. This is not the time to be embracing any of that. The word can't should not exist in your vocabulary. And try? Why even bother? If you're not going to do everything that is necessary to get where you want to be in your life, why even bother? Sounds harsh, doesn't it? Makes you wonder why am I saying exactly what I just said? Because the time is now for you to recognize that there is no time to be feeling pity about your discussions and what it is that you have inside yourself. You have got to have a different type of conversation within yourself and stop doing the word can't and stop doing the word try. Now let's talk about can't. The word can't. What has it done for so many people? And what has it done for you? Has can't elevated you? Has can't put you in a better place in your life? Has can't made you feel stronger? Has Kent made something resonate inside of you to give you the ability to carry on? Or if Kent, has it put you in a position to where you're just standing still and you're waiting for something? Maybe you're waiting for a handout. Maybe you're waiting for a pat on your back. Maybe you're waiting for someone to hold your hand. Kent. What is it doing for you now? Can't is not something that you need to be holding on to. Can't doesn't do anything for me. And it shouldn't do anything for you. What it is that you are seeking in your life and what it is that you are going for in your life, can't cannot be attached to it. It takes more. It takes much more than the word can't. It is a word that should never exist in your life. Whatever mistakes that you are making, whatever failures that you have faced, embrace it and carry on. Because the word can't, it ain't gonna care nothing about you anyway. It doesn't love you, it doesn't care about you. And when you have the word can't in your mind, excuses will follow. So how do you carry on? What is it that you need to do? And how far are you willing to take it? Now let's talk about try. Trying seems to be the new thing. Well, I wouldn't even say that it's the new thing. It seems like it's the everyday thing for so many people. Well, I tried. I couldn't put down that chocolate piece of cake. I couldn't put that key piece of cake down. I tried. I couldn't get up in the morning. I'm not a morning person. I tried to get up, but I couldn't get up. I tried. I tried to be nice, but I couldn't be nice. I tried. Everything you did is try, but you didn't even give yourself the satisfaction and do it. I'm addicted to living my life. I'm addicted to just being happy as much as I possibly can. I'm addicted to helping people. I'm addicted to believing in myself when others did not. I'm addicted to understanding that sometimes when you feel that you are in a position that you can't go on, you got to have enough addiction in yourself to believe in yourself to push forward. Now addiction comes in many different shapes and sizes. And there are a lot of people out here that are going to judge people who are addicted to things that we all know in most cases may not be helping them. 
But who am I or who are you to judge them? There are many people in the world right now that are suffering from many different things that you and I will never understand. But we're not here to judge, we're here to encourage. I'm here to let you know if you are suffering from something right now and it's hurting you and it's putting you down and putting you in a position where you feel that you can't go on, don't let this addiction destroy your purpose in this world. Be addicted about being powerful. Be addicted about being passionate. Be addicted about being passionate about what you believe in. Be addicted in doing the things that are going to make you better as a human being. No one said it was going to be easy. So if you're going to get addicted, get addicted on being better. Find the right reasons, find the right purpose. Find the right path and go towards it. Because every day, as long as you're waking up out of that bed and that sun is shining on your face, it gives you an opportunity to be unique. It gives you an opportunity to feel good about life. Be grateful. Be happy. But if you're going to be addicted, be addicted of getting yourself out of that situation. Be addicted on trying to do something better with your life. Preserve your life. Reserve your life because it's yours. Now there are people out there that don't want to hear a message like this. There are people out here that don't want to hear this type of truth. I'm not here to commercialize it. I'm not here to tell you that it's going to be okay. Because sometimes it just won't be okay. Sometimes you just got to struggle just a little bit and go through the circumstances that you're going through. But that doesn't mean that you got to go through it and stay in a position that is hurting you and not making you better. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk to you a little bit about negativity. What does it do to you and what does it do to others in the world? When you talk about negativity, it will do certain things to you that will put you down and keep you down if you let it. It doesn't give you any strength. It gives you more weakness than power. When you surround yourself with people that are negative, when you surround yourself with different things that are not helping you to grow strong but instead put you in a position where you're at a weak state and you don't feel that you can come back from it, that's exactly what negativity does. You cannot get anywhere in life when you're having negative things around you. If you are in a negative environment, these things will hinder you from success. You have got to understand what negativity truly ultimately does. Eventually, it will put you in a position where you are feeling hopeless. You feel that you got to depend on someone to be happy, but you don't. You feel like you got to hang around a bunch of people to feel important, but you don't. You got to understand when you're hanging around things that is not helping you to move up, it's only going to put you in a position where you're going to stay down. And this is not a place that you want to be. Do not let negative tell you what to do. Don't let negativity put you in a position that you feel that there's nothing going to come out of you. You have every opportunity right in front of you. Just take a moment of clarity within yourself and realize that you do matter. Understand that there's purpose within you, ladies and gentlemen. Understand that you do matter for a reason because you exist for a reason. Now, if you let negative or negativity control you, control your thoughts, control your actions, then what's left? You got to get past this thing about wondering who, what, when, and where, and how you're going to go to the next level. The only way you're going to move up is you got to move up with the right mindset and understanding that you have all the power and uniqueness within you to get to the level you want to be in your life. But you can't allow things that are holding you back to take control of your life. No matter the circumstances, you can do it. No matter the circumstances, you can make it because negativity doesn't own you. So if you're surrounding yourself with people or things 
that is not making you better. I suggest you move forward. I suggest you disconnect yourself from these things. There are miserable people in the world and they exist. There are negative people in the world because most of the times we tend to listen to the outside instead of what we have on the inside. And if you carry the right information with inside you, nothing else would matter. Nothing else can touch you. You're still gonna have your battles. You're still gonna have your ups and downs. You're still gonna be to a point where you say you're done. But you're not done. It's not over. If you're living, you gotta keep going. You gotta keep fighting. You gotta keep pushing. It's all up to you. It's up to you to make a decision about your life. It's up to you to understand that you have the power within yourself and not negativity. If you have people around you that encourage you, stick with them because they see something in you, but you got to see it within yourself. Don't be afraid to take a chance. Don't be afraid to move away from people that you thought had your best interests at heart, but you found out the hard way that they're negative. Don't let negativity take you out and destroy your possibilities. What are you afraid of? What's holding you back? What's putting you in a position that you feel that you can't go on? Do you have this mindset of thinking that because fear is in your way that you're supposed to stop moving? Do you believe that fear has more power than you do? Well, let me remind you something about fear. We all have to experience it. You can't run from it, but you can definitely overcome it. If someone tells you that they're not afraid of anything, make no mistake. As long as you are a human being, we are all afraid of something. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it's over. That doesn't mean that you have to give in to fear. In fact, fear helps you to build character. It brings something else out of you. Just like an animal, just like something that's trying to run away because it's afraid to die or afraid to get itself in a position that it can't get out of. It will fight to the end. So sometimes fear does do a good thing for you because something else comes out of you. It doesn't mean that you are afraid to a point that you're weak, but it ignites something else about survival, about living, about pushing, about thriving. When you go into a room and you're getting ready to take your test or whatever you may be doing in your lifetime or something that you have never done before in your life and now you are up against a challenge and you're afraid to face that challenge, don't be ashamed of that fear. But you don't let fear control you. You don't let fear dictate your life. In fact, you tell fear, take a break. I got business to take care of. And then when fear decides to show up again, then you tell it to do something else. But you do not let fear tell you what to do. Let it do what it needs to do, but you do what you have to do. Do not let these things that surround you put you in a position that you feel you can't carry on. Don't be afraid to fail. You, have, you may have often heard this from many people from time to time. Failing. I don't like to fail. I never fail. Yes, you do. We all fail at something. And you shouldn't be afraid of it. Many people will tell you that's how you learn. That's how you grow. That's how you build. There's nothing in this world that is perfect. Everything that exists has some kind of a flaw in it. And whether you're worried about what people think of you because you fail at something, or because you're afraid of what people are gonna think about you because you're not good at something, make no mistake that these people that are putting you in a position to think less of yourself, they may have the same circumstances going on in their life with something that you're better at and they're not. That's what makes us unique. So don't let fear control your life. 
overcome the fear. Overcome it and understand it that all you got to do is just keep moving. Nothing behind you is going to help you. Everything in front of you is where you need to be. The thing about success that is limitless. And when you feel that you have reached a level, go a little bit further. When you allow fear to say that you're not worthy or you're not capable of doing something, then you have already given up because you're afraid. There are many different shapes and sizes when it comes to fear. People are afraid of everything that's out here. In certain areas, forms, and fashion, we all fear something. I fear it. You fear it. We all fear something, but that doesn't make you a bad person. That doesn't mean that you're worthy less of something. It means that you got work to do. That means you got something to work on. That means you got to work on overcoming this particular fear factor. And you need to push yourself a little bit harder in understanding that you can do it. Don't let fear control your life. Don't let fear tell you what to do. Don't let fear put you in a position that you feel that, hey, I'm done, and you just throw your hands up and you want to quit. Let fear do what it needs to do, and you just do what you got to do. When you put yourself in a position and then that position comes about, what are you going to do at that moment? Sometimes you're going to get to a point and you're not going to feel that you have what it takes to go on because you let fear tell you what to do. Because you let fear whisper in your ear and say, hey man, this ain't for you. Let fear do its job. Let fear encourage you rather than destroy you. So being afraid doesn't mean that you stop moving. Being afraid doesn't mean that it's over. Let the fear build your character and you keep moving forward and conduct your business.